All right, got one. Only one, but it's better than nothing. I used. Thank you. Let me kill you guys. Not even like attack at all. Crushing Eagle would be helpful if it came out a little faster. Alright, we're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Right, that's another one down. Stop this. Alright, we're, we're getting there. You do not want to do this on hard mode. You really don't. Like, really crazy. Plus, I cannot imagine the Xbox version didn't even have the option to skip cutscenes. It, it it was pretty bad. You have to like just rapidly press X through all of this. Thank goodness Definitive Edition added that. Although I feel like that should have been in the original game too. Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. Huh. That's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice painful death all set up for you. This is like my third time being in imprisoned. In prison or something or locked up no, is a better way. For a while. What's the deal? What is the deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Yeah! Hey! Damn it. A woman? And she's Christian? A female? A female waifu riding a dragon? Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? More like a dragon. So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <sighs> not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. <laughs> Honestly, fair. It's your choice, but I was expecting a deeper answer, but can't... Can't, can't say anything to disagree with that. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barlas' Blastia too. <laughs> it's just a hobby you have fun doing? Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Oh! Ah. Oh my goodness, Yuri hit a woman. Oh, that is it! Uh. Pipe down! Cut it out! You cut it out! I said that's enough! Somebody get me away from this psycho! 
So I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, huh? <laughs> Classic. The guards are idiots in every JRPG. But we break free from prison. You're free. Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Guess I uh, overdid it back there. <laughs> overdid it by hitting her first and getting the first strike. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. All right. On to the next objective. Judith really isn't that hard to say, though. Judy is quicker to say and easier to say, but <laughs> Judith is not difficult. Next? Well, we could check out the Blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Up we go then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. There's gotta be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Oh, Judith joined the party. If we were playing Xbox version, this would be the final character. But we are not, so there's still two more characters. Judith's armor. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy looking suit of armor? Oh, you didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See, look at this beautiful skin free of bruises and blemishes. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. You don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. <laughs> what? These two chests. Judith, I, I can't open my menu now. <laughs> I was gonna say something about Judith, but I'll, I'll hold it until we get our equipment back. Uh, 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 uh. Pretty sure it's just in this room. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. Okay, then obtain the spear. Now we can open our menu. Judith is possibly one of the unique characters in the game. She heavily, heavily focuses on aerial combat. And you could do you could do lots of crazy stuff with Judith. You do have to um get her you do have to get her skill more skills with her. She could be a really fun character to play. She's definitely like one of the more unique characters, and I do like playing Judith. She's definitely like one of my favorites to play as. But she does kind of have a learning curve. And you do have to kind of wait until you get better skills. But even so, she's really fun. Do you like this costume? No, thank you. Meh. No, thank you. Oh, this is, um, who is this? Vengeful Half Elf. This is Cosmos. This is the game that references Cosmos from Xenosaga. This is also pretty sick. I feel like I should know who this is. This is a Tales of character. I cannot think. Half Elf. Oh, oh, dude, this is Richter from Dawn of the New World. And that game is terrible. Also, she has Cosmos. Um, give me this one, the cowgirl. It's pretty neat. Yes. So what attacks do I have? Crescent Moon, New Moon Blade. I want to edit this a bit. Luna. Yeah, actually, no, this is fine. We're good. Yeah, Judith is definitely one of my favorites to play. She's really fun. It looks like we can't go any higher. And we can't go outside either. What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that, too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. 
If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. It'll be fine. Sorcerer's Ring level 2. Strong bonds. Was that fancy ring a present from someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, 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 I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. And that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. What? I know how we got the sorcerer's ring, but still. Like... Was he referring to Rita? Because Rita was the one that told us about the sorcerer's ring? Not sure. Can't do anything with that. So what does this guy have? Items? Oh, you're a fortunes market. Sick. Perfect timing. Do I have any magic lens? Give me one more. Can I buy any weapons for Judith? Should the size more like? What does she have right now, actually? She got boots and... Yeah, aerial arts. So you have to get for Judith to make her like a very viable character to play as. You really should get the aerial arts, which allows you to perform certain base arcane arts or altered arts in the air. So you definitely want that. Judith definitely is... She, you have to put in you have to put in a little bit of work to play as her really good. She could be really fun if you have all the skills, or even if she doesn't, even if you don't have all the skills, you can still have fun with Judith. I think Judith is definitely one of my favorites to play as. Possibly my favorite. You're pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? I can. Been doing it since before Gattuso. So yeah, I can use over limit. Sure, yeah. Okay, then try this. Huh? What's this? The limit duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful overlimits. Oh yes. This is where we get into the good stuff. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So what else can you tell me about these strong overlimits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Limit duo. Yeah, now we have two over limits. And also, another thing is that over limit, if you use level one or two over limit, there's actually a difference. I don't remember what level two over limit does. I know level, level four over limit makes it where you are pretty much, you don't take damage or knockback. And level 3 is no TP consumption. I don't remember what level 2 does, though. So, we'll, we'll, we'll work around that as we go. A horse raptor. Yo, there's raptor. Uh, magic blends the scissor beak. I'm gonna fight this thing. Yeah, so now we can use crescent moon in the air. But as you get more... Think oh, yeah, you can use lots of stuff in the air. I love playing as Judith so much. Judith is a ton of fun. That's not what I wanted. Alright, everything we can use in the air, so good. Sorry for being so strong. This hey, and no big deal, I was just stronger than you. Not a problem. What's up? Oh, the sorcerer's ring is green now. I forgot it changes colors. Yo, fight me. I want an encounter link. Oh, dude, give me it. Give me this encounter link. Let's get this over with. Yeah, we're almost at four hours. I don't think we're going to fight the boss today. We're probably going to, like, wrap up soon, I think. It'll be a little shorter stream today, but I think I don't really want to get into cutscene central. So we're probably going to save the boss for next time. I got to get that mage. Oh my goodness. I need to, uh, give Fury a bottle. Stop this. Of course I'm 
Item, please. Oh, this was a mistake. Get these mages out of here. Let me do this, please. I'm, I'm trying not to be a pain. I'm stunned, Ma. Oh, finally. I'll get the second mage. That's what Luna Fang does. Easy. Luna Gale. Love it. Give me Luna Gale right here. Alright, that guy's dead. That mage is dead. Give me a miracle chill. Gary, what are you doing? Oh, he's probably under health. In that case. There we go. He's probably under health and didn't attack. That's not what I wanted. I did the wrong item. Yes, please die. Right, you're dead. This is really hard with just these two. Yes, take a nice long nap. A nice long nap. Ash and Moonlight. I was waiting for that. What arcane arts do I have though? Oh, Luna Gale is an arcane art. Didn't know that. Press an axe. Oh, not another axe. What skills does it give me? <laughs> Reflect and roll. Eh. I can hold off on that for a bit. Yo, it's Raven. And Rita. That's the last of them. <laughs> Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri. Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey. Just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I, for one, was worried sick. <laughs> really? Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith. And we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. <laughs> yeah, the great old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven. You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Yes, we are very interesting. Ooh. I think she likes me. Hey, <laughs> Raven. You could backflip? How old are you again? Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <laughs> Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, Flynn. Are you alright? Flynn? 
What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous. So please stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up. We've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri. <sighs> Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. Okay, ominous. I totally forgot we get Flynn here in Definitive Edition. Yo, that's sick. I'm gonna be playing as Flynn. I think we're gonna wrap up stream here. Pretty sure. Because I really... We're running low on time. I'm, I know Gas Roast is cat, not really long, but it does have its long moments. So I think we're gonna wrap up here, but I do wanna watch the skit and find the save point. Just use both. Hmm. What's up, Yuri? Is something wrong with your weapon? No, I was just thinking about how different axes and swords feel to use. Hmm. Ah, you use both swords and axes, don't you? Yeah, but my arts change depending on which I use. It's not a problem or anything, but... Hmm. Well, I think you look cooler when you're using axes, Yuri. It makes you look stronger, too. <laughs> really? I prefer Yuri when he's using swords myself. You should just use one in each hand. <laughs> Give me a break. Absolutely not. Also, I agree with Estelle. I like using swords more. I'm pretty sure there's a save point down here. I like using swords so much more. So let me um open up Flynn's costumes. Um, let me see. Flynn, Flynn, Flynn. Bonus title. So now the only character we haven't had once is Patty, which we get. Kind of soon. We're probably not going to get our next stream, but probably the one after that. Uh, let me see what I want for Flynn. Meh. Meh. Pretty neat. Oh, this is Luke. Looks so weird on you. What is this? This is Arthur, I'm pretty sure, from Ghosts and Goblins. Is there a save point down here? I just wonder there was. Do I have to go outside? Can I leave and go to the field map? I don't know. I want to wrap up. Alright, perfect. We're going to wrap up here because I do think... I'm also going to use a tent just because to heal up. But we are going to wrap up here because um, I think it's better. Um, I don't really want to tackle gas for us right now. We only have like 15 minutes left till with four hours And there's a bunch of cutscenes after the boss and we're doing it on hard mode So I think it's a good time to wrap up here We didn't quite finish act one like I wanted but that's fine. We're really close to finishing act one Act one is literally just this dungeon and I'm fighting Barbos. So yeah, those of you watching on YouTube I hope you all enjoyed and when we come back next time we'll tackle gas Rose and Fight Barbos and all that good stuff, but yeah Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.